All right. Hello, we're team 12 and our topic is focused on touring for emerging artists. The problem we've identified is determining optimal tour routing based on where your fans are located and finding the perfect venue fit can be time consuming and requires cross analyzing across many data sources. And I think our presentation is frozen. Oh, sorry. Can you see it? Still on the first page. Is it still on the R tour? Yes. Okay. Um, just give me one second. I will be scared. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna try again. So. Um, okay. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes. So as I mentioned, determining optimal routing and finding the perfect venue fit is time consuming and requires cross analyzing across many of the data sources you see below. Okay, so we identified uh, what if, uh, so what if agents could, and of course, independent artists could use the power of uh, AI and data analytics to cross reference revenue, uh, to cross reference venue artists and fund data in order to make the booking process uh, more efficient in a fraction of the time and with better results. So that's where our app Art Tour comes in the picture. It can be used by both artists and venues, but with the focus being on artists and primarily emerging artists, you can get intelligent suggestions for your next concert venue from your artist profile, from the fan data, by connecting your streaming platforms and social media platforms and instantly get a match. So let's just say that you're an artist and you want to perform at London. You can basically search up the location on the app and get the best venue match results. And, uh, and you can choose uh, from them based on the genre, the capacity, and also the fan uh, metrics as well. And once you get the, the results, you can also book requests. Uh, you can also send book requests to the venues themselves for your coming shows based on their availability. So how does it work under the hood? We start with artists and the city. We look up similar artists in the same genre using Chartmetric API. For all similar artists, we find all the previous events for them in the selected city, and we use Songkick data for that. Uh, for the events found in the city, we collect the venue information, uh, the venues that were that these events were held, and the information about these venues, their name, contact info, genre, focus, capacity, and so on. We grab it from Vibrate and enrich this data using Polestar and some additional sources. Then when we have all the data that we need, we can calculate the metrics that contribute to the match rate. This could be the venue level metrics like capacity, genre focus, merge rate, and so on. And artist metrics uh, for all similar artists like genre closeness, fan engagement, and so on. When we have all the metrics we, we need, we can use them uh, and machine learning model to estimate the match rate for each venue. Uh, and finally, when we have the match rate for each venue, we can rank them and show them on the map. So we also have identified three different stakeholders. We have artists and agencies, venues and fans. When it comes to artists and agencies, given that they can make more bookings in less time, this results in higher agency ROI. Um, also, there are higher gains for the artist because um, this is the chance of selling a higher number of tickets and merch. Um, more money is being saved when it comes to tour marketing and due to a better um, fan targeting, um, there's a raise in the fan base and engagement. For venues, um, you can maximize revenues by improving attendance. So there's also a higher uh, percentage of the venue capacity that is being sold. Um, they can meet customer demands when it comes to concerts more efficiently, and they can also increase cross-selling. For instance, they provide other services such as bar and better food. Whereas for fans, um, there's an overall better event experience because they have their favorite artists performing in the ideal venue for their music genre. However, uh, we identified some limitations, starting from the event or biased results. Um, due to the lack of uh, uh, data 
for the engagement data for the emerging uh, uh, artists and uh, also for, from the lack of data regarding uh, past ticket purchases. And uh, another limitation that uh, we find is the possible resistance from venue veterans to implement a new service like this. Uh, at the same time, uh, we find some uh, uh, future chance to uh, solve some of these limitations, uh, like the uh, data gathering system, um, an integration of a data gathering system um, of ticket sales history, and uh, maybe a partnership with the ticket ticket platforms. Um, and another another um, future chance opportunity that uh, we uh, we think about it is a partnership with Museo to include the, also uh, the really emerging artists that don't have enough data for um, streaming DSP. Uh, and um, so with Museo, uh, we can create the metadata as an input to, for the algorithm. And uh, that's all. Thanks for the attention from the uh, Team 12. Amazing. Great job, guys, and great job being on time. All right, that lets me go on to our judges. Um, judges, the easiest way to do this is just to use a little raise hand function on Zoom, um, or if you want, just pop your camera on and ask your questions. We have two to three minutes for questions. Uh, I think you're on mute. Oh, sorry. Oh. Sorry. Hey, there yeah. Go. Sorry, we can hear you. Awesome. Um, cool. So this is Fariel from TuneCore. Great job, guys. Um, just had a couple questions. So one was, um, are there any top competitors uh, that you think exist today or what you would consider as, you know, the closest thing to a competitor for um, your art tour idea? And then um, can anyone truly use the app? Meaning, are there any thresholds an artist would have to hit to get matched? Um, I'll speak to competitors. Um, we have identified, uh, gosh, almost 10 competitors, but none of them go into this detail as far as um, they will list venues, but they don't overlay the fan data because a lot of that data um, can be in varied places. And so first, I think it's identifying where the fans are and then going into the level of venue booking. Because um, you can go to Prism FM, um, Gigwell, 6A, Reverb Nation, and they will do some tour venue matching, but just not at this detail. And sorry, what was your second question? And the second question was just around confirming um, the accessibility of the app. So can an artist, no matter how big or small, use it? Are there any thresholds that have to hit in order for them to get matched? Yeah. Um, I think we have focused mostly on emerging artists because larger artists will have agents that know exactly where to book them. They already have past tour histories. They have a lot more data available. So this is available to anyone, but most useful for brand new artists. Great, we'll have time for just one more question from the judges. Uh, yeah, I have one. Um, just wanted to know how you see this interacting with the promoter community uh, locally in each territory. Um, I wasn't sure that that was covered. Um, I'll speak really quick and then the rest of the team can speak in. Um, I think when you're looking at emerging artists, they're typically booking a lot of the smaller venues that the venue is the promoter. So um, there's not like a middleman. It might just be the pub down, you know, in in the main part of the city or a cafe or some of those smaller um couple hundred capacity venues so there would be potentially the availability to open it up to promoters but i think that's at a larger scale maybe yeah okay great thanks okay. yeah yeah i agree with that could be a future implementation for our app because basically we identified also a revenue little revenue model so it is uh, of course subscription based so a future implementation would be um, yeah, adding our uh, um, in our customer base also the, the promoters that could be yeah, thrown in we just want to test out the app first we would like you know to implement it and test it out first and then um, make it subscription based because yeah as um, 
uh, my colleague were, was showing uh, showing you there are two interfaces basically one for the artist and one for the venue so different results in the app so i think that the promoter side could uh, fall more or less into the venues um, part and yeah be implemented uh, yeah, on that side of the app.